Hi everyone, welcome to World Geography. My name is Ms. Ahlam and I'm going to be teaching you this course throughout the academic year of 2023 to 2024. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of the course content. The very first thing that we're going to be exposing ourselves to is the following question. How can we use geography to learn about other countries? There are five key components that we're going to look at today. These are also the five themes of geography that we're going to begin exploring in our very first unit. The first one is location. So geography helps you think about things spatially. Um, you think about where they're located and how they got there. Location allows you to discuss places in terms that everyone can understand. So you're going to be exploring the absolute location of a place. So if someone asks you where your school is, you might say at the corner of 10th Street and 2nd Avenue. A geographer might give you the answer 38 degrees south latitude and 145 degrees east longitude. So that's the absolute location of a city, for instance. We'll also be really considering how these imaginary, imaginary lines drawn on the surface help geographers locate any place on Earth. We can also refer to location of a place in terms of relative location. So you might say your school is near a fire station or two blocks away from a local supermarket. That's what the term relative location means, which we'll look at in greater detail. The next theme is place. So when we're considering place, we're looking at climate in terms of temperature and weather patterns and the physical features of a place. It's, for instance, it's flat landscape, mountains, rivers, deserts, forests, plants and animal life. Um, we're going to really be thinking and pondering the following question. What can we learn from the shape and size of a country? Is, are those the only two things that we're going to be looking at? Um, for instance, we can think about the language that people speak there. Every place on earth has a distinct group of physical features, not only through its climate and landforms, but also with its plants and animal life, as mentioned earlier. Places can have human characteristics or features that human beings created, like cities and towns, um, governments and cultural traditions, right? So sometimes things happen where the places can change themselves, like volcanoes, earthquakes, or hurricanes, or um, the formation of a delta. So this affects the place's physical features and perhaps affects the lives of or habits of the people living there due to that tragic event. So here are some more um, examples of geographic landforms. You're going to have art projects and you know, discussions and integration of technology activities that will help you understand these and kind of imagine them in more detail so that you'll be able to discuss their effects. The next one is environmental interactions. So here you're not only, you're going to be really considering the interaction between human beings and their environment. Okay? This occurs because humans depend on or they adapt to um, the world around them. So human society and the environment and the environment can't be separated. Each one shapes one another and is shaped by one another. Some places are the way they are because people change them due to the reasons that they need to in order to, you know, keep up with the um, high expectations around them in economy or in the job industry. Um, for example, so if an area has a lot of open meadows, 
This may be because settlers from a long time ago cleared the land for farming. So sometimes these human changes can help or hurt the environment. Um, think about pollution. How does that affect things, right? For example, how can hurricanes wash away beaches and houses along the shore? How can earthquakes cause destruction? How can wildfires um, affect the lives of so many people or their style of life? And how do people adapt to that once that happens? The fifth, um, I'm sorry, the fourth theme or component is movement. So how can we relate this to the movement of people, goods, ideas? How do people get around? What do they use? Um, we're going to consider migration. Are people moving here or leaving to go elsewhere? Um, what are imports and what are exports? How does that relate to particular countries and regions? We'll learn a lot about that. Last but not least, we're gonna look at region or regional culture, okay? So we're going to be investigating um, this theme or this component by uncovering languages spoken, common religions, types of government structures, traditions, and pop, uh, popular media or culture. We'll look at, you know, we can explore music, and the different types of influences it had on different regions or where it originated from. Um, we can also look at, uh, you know, not only human migration, but um, cultural diffusion in this particular component, right? Uh, how people have interacted with one another um, due to, you know, their original, how, or how they've really influenced changes in language and religion and aspects of the region itself in terms of interaction. And that is basically a little synopsis of the units themselves. The regions to be covered are listed below briefly. So first we'll start off with an introduction to geography. Then we'll look into the United States and Canada. South America, the Middle American region, will be then exploring Europe through time in Europe today, um, Africa, and Northern Eurasia. We're going to be creating a postcard exhibition and project at some point throughout the year. I strongly encourage you to bring postcards of different places so you can practice your oral speaking skills throughout the course and to familiarize yourself with different beautiful cities of your interest throughout the world. Our assessment policy can be found on the main page and you'll also be able to ask questions about it or if you want to see a further breakdown for particular um, assignments that will also be provided throughout BC um, pages. And that is all. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and I look forward to spending the rest of the year with you.